guys, John V from Phone Arena. You're watching our video comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Okay, we know that the Note 4 is a powerhouse of a phone with a ton of features and also a pretty awesome spec sheet, but the Galaxy S6 Edge is the latest device to come out on the scene and it's sporting even better specs and on top of that, a totally new redesign. The S6 Edge definitely has more of a premium design over the Note 4. Note 4 still has a pretty good looking handset and it has a more contemporary look with the leather back casing and the metal trim bezel. But obviously the size factor is, 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 is something of concern for some people. It might be too large for them, but other people will like the large or phablet size of the handset. It's a little bit more cumbersome to hold, but still a pretty nice looking handset. But Samsung really improved with the design of the S6 Edge and it's by far the most beautiful looking phone they've produced. Now that's partly because of the unique look of the dual curve display. It just adds a new level of of attractiveness to the handset and when you pair that with its premium materials like the Gorilla Glass 4 front and back surfaces and the metal trim bezel it just culminates into one beautiful looking phone and we definitely love how the light bounces and reflects off the surfaces giving it a very dazzling look it's the more compact handset too but honestly the sharp edges don't make it feel quite as comfortable now Below the displays, you have their home buttons. They incorporate their fingerprint sensors. The uh, implementation used by the S6 Edge is by far better and easier than the old styling where you swipe down with the Note 4. They have similar features in the form of their IR blasters, blasters which allow them to double as universal remotes. And in the back, you have their heart rate sensors, which allow us to measure our pulse. With the Edge, you have built-in wireless charging, it meets both the Qi and PMA standards, but the Note 4 has a deeper set of features in tow. In particular, they include things like the removable back cover, so you could gain access to the battery and swap that out. You have a micro SD card slot to help increase its internal storage capacity. And finally, you have the S Pen, which is very useful for some of the software experiences, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit. The displays are brilliant and gorgeous with the two, and they both employ Quad HD resolution and also Super AMOLED display, Super AMOLED technology. It's a matter of just size, 5.1 inches in the uh, S6 Edge versus the larger 5.7 inch display of the Note 4. Now when Note 4 was released, it had the best Super AMOLED display we've seen from Samsung, but of course Samsung had to do better uh, by improving it with the S6 Edge. Now of course, the thing that stands out is just the dual curve display. Now it's mostly there for the aesthetics, but it has it serves a function as well in the form of we have access to some of our favorite contacts directly from the lock screen or the home screen. And when you get a phone call from any one of them, it, it, uh, show, it does this cool pattern effect with the lighting. And finally, you have all the various tickers you could view when the display's off. Um, and it's pretty useful, especially at night uh, when it automatically comes on. But the uh, display itself is by far an improvement over the Note 4. Note 4 is pretty bright, pretty color accurate, and also had a pretty good color temperature, but it's pretty much spot on with the uh, edge the uh, s6 edge it's brighter it has a more ideal color temperature and finally it's a lot more color accurate now they're both running touchwiz of course but it's the new touchwiz versus the old the new touchwiz is uh, by far more cleaner looking toned down with its feature set they both have similar things like multi-window for true multitasking and you even have one-handed mode for easier interaction with some of the applications. But you get a slightly higher degree of personalization with the S6 Edge because you could download different themes to you know, change up the look of the UI. But with the, uh, with the Note 4, it'll probably adhere more towards power users just because with the S Pen, the large amount of real estate we have to work with, it's really ideal for a lot of, of getting a lot of work done. Now with the S Pen, of course, it also adds a new layer of um, functionality. You have the air view function functionality, so you can hover it over certain elements in the gallery, in the web browser. You could jot down notes just because um, it's pretty precise. And you can even use, precisely use it with things like spreadsheets, so you could actually select a shell, a cell, um, um, and you know, 
uh, put in all the uh, computations you need. So it definitely lends its usefulness in a variety of different productivity stuff. Performance wise, the uh, S6 Edge is by far more fluid with its performance. Not to say that the uh, Note 4 is a slouch, it's pretty fast on its own, but it does exhibit some lag every now and then, especially over a period of time. We just use it, we notice a little small lag or small delays every now and then with certain things. The S6 Edge is powered, of course, by the uh, the latest chip from Samsung's camp, uh, an octa-core 64-bit base Exynos chip, which just screams like no other. Meanwhile, the uh, Note 4 is powered by, you know, the Qualcomm's Snapdragon 805 chip. It's still pretty fast, but like I said, every now and then you'll see just some weird, weird delays with its operation. In the back, you have their 16 megapixel cameras. The difference here is that you have a wider f 1.9 aperture lens in the Galaxy S6 Edge versus the f 2.2 aperture lens in the Note 4. Now, they both take some incredible looking shots with a lot of detail when it comes to outdoor scenery. But we notice that the Note 4's photos are just a little bit sharper looking. And that's probably because the uh, S6 Edge has that wide, it captures photos at a wider aperture, um, you know, f1.9. So it tends to soften it just by a little bit. But under lower lighting conditions, that wider aperture lends itself in actually um, absorbing a lot more light. So generally speaking, the S6 Edge's photos come out more, you know, far more, far brighter than the Note 4's. But Note 4 is still a pretty good handset under lower lighting conditions. And honestly, the video recording quality of both handsets are to die for. They take some, some incredible looking videos. 1080p or 4K resolution, you're not gonna have any complaints whatsoever. Call quality, we don't favor one handset more than the other. They're honestly pretty much on par to one another. Um, they have their displeasing qualities, but for the most part, both are more than usable for the occasion. Battery life goes to the Note 4. Uh, that's because it's sporting the larger capacity battery under the hood. And of course, it's also replaceable, so you have that ability to actually swap it out. Now in our battery benchmark test, the S6 Edge managed to reach a mark of eight hours and 11 minutes, but the Note 4 is, Note 4 is longer at eight hours and 43 minutes. But we should note that when we tested out the S6 Edge, because in the manual brightness setting, maximum brightness setting, it only achieves a maximum output of 180 nits as opposed to the 200 nits we normally use with our battery benchmark test. But still, a uh, good effort on, on the uh, S6 Edge's part, but the Note 4 is by far the longer lasting handset. In all fairness, you can't go wrong picking either handset. It's just a matter of which one's gonna to appeal to you more and what features matter most to you. If you want a more compact handset with a premium build quality, stick with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. It's just very unique looking, especially with the dual curve display. But if you're more about getting work done, productivity, you're gonna stick with the Note 4 because the large size of the display in, in conjunction with the S Pen and also a ton of other software features it has over the S6 Edge makes it the more ideal handset for you. So if you guys wanna learn more about either handset, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V, thanks for watching.